Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss about vaccine hesitancy. This is a topic that's been gaining a lot of traction for your uh, short notes. So what is it? It is basically a continuum between acceptance and outright refusal in the background of the vaccine actually being available. Okay. So basically the parents or the adults whoever wants to get vaccinated are confused. They are conflicted whether to get it done or not. So this includes everything from their intentions, their background, their uh, uh, how to tell, their bringing up and their willingness. This vaccine hesitancy can be for one vaccine or multiple vaccination, and this has been touted as top ten threats to global health by WHO in twenty nineteen. So what are the factors which influence your Uh, vaccine hesitancy there are 5c it started out as 3c but in view of covid-19 the authors of this particular article which will be published in indian journal of pediatrics authored by uh, dr preeti kalagilli have included two more c's confidence complacency convenience communication and context so let's see what they are one by one so confidence so confidence of the person who is receiving the vaccine should be there for that specific vaccine that they are going to give it should be there in the system in the sense the hospital the healthcare providers the services they offer etc and they should have confidence on the person who is manufacturing the vaccine policy makers okay manufacturing vaccine person who decides the vaccine scheduling etc etc if they feel they don't have confidence in vaccine then they are not going to get correct so if they are not having confidence in the system they are not going to go to the hospital to take a vaccine if they think uh, vaccine makers are uh, you know purely money oriented and that is why they are manufacturing vaccine then no they are not going to get vaccine correct so that is about confidence what about complacency complacency is the laid back attitude okay so it can be due to perceived risk of vaccine preventable disease being low and they don't think it requires any preventive action at all all right so this laid back attitude could be due to three reasons either they have other problems in their life that is taking more precedence than receiving an actual vaccine or the immunization process itself is so successful it's actually a paradox no you have vaccinated the community the overall disease process has come down now that the disease has not been seen in quite some time people become complacent okay they think this disease is not at all there why should i go and get vaccinated and third is self efficacy self efficacy is proper complacency where they think it is not necessary to go to a hospital or go to a healthcare professional to take a vaccine third c is convenience convenience is as we all know where should i go and get vaccine is it affordable if it is affordable should i be paying that much for that vaccine correct can i reach that place comfortably and what is it what is the advantage of me taking the vaccine after all this you know distance traveling and giving money so that is about convenience the fourth c is communication this communication context all of them gained importance during the covid era especially when there were multiple fast tracking of vaccines and emergency authorizations being issued to vaccines okay so the communication part is the onus is on our part to repeatedly educate them regarding the risk of communication okay so you can look at it like that or you can say you tell them that see boss even though the prevalence is currently low you are not seeing too much of the disease it is because we are vaccinating and there is a risk of it coming back if you are not going to vaccinate then you tell them if i don't vaccinate this set of population the overall level of immunity is going to come down so educate them and only if this much population is vaccinated the small amount of people who you know fall through the cracks who don't actually get vaccinated will still be protected because you are having at least some sort of herd immunity or you are surrounded by people who are already immune to the disease 
context is where you um, how to tell you think about the background that they are coming from okay, what is it that is making them hesitant is it you know their religious beliefs or from where they are from that is preventing them from having a vaccine is it their occupation that is preventing them or they are not at all affordable socio economic status that is preventing them so why all of this is needed why are we talking about all of these factors which are influencing because if you know what you are what is being influenced then you can find out solutions okay so high vaccine hesitancy will definitely lead to low vaccine demand but it is the reverse is not true just because there is low vaccine hesitancy does not mean everybody is going and getting vaccinated okay it depends on multiple other factors so this is something called as vaccine hesitancy determinants matrix something similar to what we discussed previously it's based upon three things one is contextual influences individual and group influences and vaccine and vaccine specific influences so you can think about it like this the person per se the surrounding environment and the vaccine like you say three part model for any disease no host virus and environment so something like that all right so what influences them what are the determinants so in for a individual it will be the immediate surrounding personal family their um, or the social media which plays a very major role their beliefs and attitudes how much are they aware and aware about what from what media are they getting their information from so all of this is important regarding vaccine so what do we actually know what about the epidemiological and scientific evidence are we introducing new vaccine or are we changing the um, schedule that has been there or the guidelines that has been there for a previously existing vaccine why did it change are we changing something you know the mode of administration the dosage the duration the number of um times that you have to get etc etc contextual influences basically your socio cultural environmental what how have they been brought up who are they listening to who are their uh, you know influences for them their historical influences religion culture all of this will come into your contextual influences how do you know we are vaccine hesitant there are two ways to objectively at least partially subjectively assess whether we are vaccination hesitant you can do it in one way which is using a questionnaire there are pre validated questionnaires which are available which talks about immunization behavior whether you you know the parents answer yes or no or they have a scale like have you ever delayed having your child getting a shot for reasons other than illness or allergy Now, do you think following the short schedule is a good idea uh, if you had another infant today would you want to uh, get the shots that are recommended for them if you think you know the you have been counseled properly regarding vaccination you would have gotten those vaccinations done how concerned are you that the child might have a serious side effect from a shot okay so you ask about their immunization behavior you ask about their beliefs about vaccine efficacy and safety and general attitudes and trust so why did you vaccinate if at all you are vaccinated is it because only if i vaccinate i can get my child to school or i trust the information i receive about shots or i trust my doctors when they say that this is good correct and how much do you trust your doctor so this is a survey questionnaire that you can do the second thing is a quantitative assessment something called as a vaccine hesitancy index it's a quantitative assessment with a scale of 1 to 10 1 being the least hesitant to 10 being the most hesitant not to okay so you from national data you take how much percentage are unvaccinated from survey data that you have done in the local population you see how many are unvaccinated despite them being eligible then you ask those unvaccinated person that if you were to change your mind after i giving uh, you know scientific evidence etc would you vaccinate whether they answer yes or no so you average these things and you multiply by 10 to generate an index okay so how are you going to solve this problem you know this problem exists you know it's a global threat so there are different ways to go about it and all of it is anchored on how you approach the parent or the patient okay so you have to stand in their shoes and see where they are coming from so that you can persuade them 
to receive the vaccine so there are four things one is thinking and feeling the other one is social process motivation practical issues i'll briefly touch upon them one by one thinking and feeling is basically their perception about vaccination okay so what do they think what do they think this vaccine prevents and how do you think how much severe do they think the disease is do they think this vaccine is going to prevent them from getting the disease what is stopping them from getting a vaccination and where do they get their information because that is going to alter all of this above correct so once you know you empathize with them okay don't judge them you inquire in a non confrontational way to see why they are being hesitant so that you can address it appropriately okay and especially if they are from a minority population where they have not received very good uh, uh, you know health care or they have not been treated well so they will have lot of hesitancy even coming to the hospital so try to have a inclusive health service for everybody social processes basically societal norms regarding vaccination and ideally how do you tackle this if suppose there is a society there is a place where a geographical location where the people don't want to go get vaccinated and even who want to get vaccinated do not get it done because they you know fear societal um, uh, looks you educate them so that is how you go about it you make home visits educate them you use science based education in a hospital setting you use technology based health education there are a lot of social medias that you can use almost every other social media um there are more misinformation that um that is being carried by those social media than actual scientifically proven information how do you motivate them okay so there will be mistrust especially if they have not been receiving any vaccination or they have been educated otherwise so you, you will have to bring them out of the shell in a very slow way and uh, you should educate them appropriately as to why they are supposed to get vaccination so that they'll be motivated for long term just not get vaccination for that time being and solve the practical issues the availability accessibility affordability and quality of health services so this is how vaccine hesitancy should be tackled okay so if such a question is asked right what is vaccine hesitancy okay tell them it is contextual it is dependent on the vaccine it depends on the timeline and it's basically a continuum between them wanting to vaccinate and not wanting to vaccinate what influences what are the determinants how do you calculate vaccine hesitancy by either questionnaire or by your um, vaccine hesitancy index and how do you tackle it and conclusion will be this is a challenging thing you know this is a global threat and it requires increased public health efforts in order to prevent another epidemic or pandemic from setting in okay and you have to tackle it because this if this is not addressed it is going to destabilize the whole system that we have established so far and addressing needs attention at both micro and macro levels meaning from home to community to um uh, you know district state national it is like that so it goes like that so at every level it has to be tackled thank you